flush yet. Oh, shoot. Drop that bracket. Bye bye. Very good. It didn't sound very fast though. Mm. Can I go to the room? You want to try? Yeah. Huh? Go ahead. We're going to record it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right, then we got more stuff to hang here. We got to put the toilet paper thing and there's gonna be shower doors there. There's gonna be a sink here. So we don't want to get it. We can't put it over here. So uh, maybe we're just gonna have, where'd it go? Get it back there. There you go. Now, we've got this shower rack, that towel rack I'm gonna put up here, but you've gotta remember, that tube right there goes straight up this wall right here. And these are straight up here. Yeah, straight up. So we gotta make sure, well, there should be only one right here. One only. This is just only a cold water. Those are two. And this is two, but that's just one. Mm. Yeah. All right, well, we got the toilet in here. And we got the toilet paper holder in here. And we got the bidet. We got the towel rack. And yes, the toilet sticks out from the wall because we want it that way. We don't want place for little bugs and geckos and stuff to live all down in behind right here and you can't clean and it gets funk so we can wipe all down in here and clean this we can clean the back of the toilet and you have a towel hanging here and it's a little longer anything it's not on the lid it's on the wall so yeah that's exactly the way we want it we don't want it snug snug now the next thing I had somebody Mention about my toilet out from the wall. These have a fixed tank. Somebody said, if you lean back, you're gonna break the tank off. Well, I don't know what you need to lean back and recline on the toilet for. <laughs> I'm just trying to even picture that. <laughs> I think most people lean forward kinda, you know? What you doing? <laughs> but this is a solid. There's no bolted on tank, okay? You see that? It's not one of them old school standard american standard in the u.s or anything it's no bolt on tank on it it's fixed and the lid even when i take this tape off right here has stuff underneath it that holds the lid on so it shouldn't be rearing back so that's how that's set up and then over here we put a little hand towel rack because there will be a sink across right here so over to your right hand side there, you'll have a little hand towel rack. And there's just a little uh, clothes hanger, like you might bring some clothes or shirt in here or something. You wanna hang it and you're gonna be getting dressed. You got a little hanger right there. I did not continue assembling the shower unit yet. It's not much left to it, but we'll catch that on another day. I do, want to talk about this toilet and I want to tell you all the truth about something, okay? So earlier I said that, boy, that didn't flush very hard and then I flushed again and again and water backed up through the P-traps and up on my drains on my floor here. And I'm like, now what's going on? Because just recently in that big pipe underneath there, it was standing up high in here before we sawed it off to do the tile floor. We left that pipe up shoot 16 18 inches up in the air and we just recently like i say sawed it off to do the tile floor and i would come in here and pour water down that pot so that i could kind of flush everything through and keep the odors from coming up in here and we had uh that plugged and we had the drain floor once plugged and we had the that big pot plug and of course, you can get sewer gas come back, come back up on this one because there's no toilet on there. But every once in a while, I flush water, take a whole five-gallon bucket, dump down in it. 
Now, just prior to us tiling this, I had just poured water in it too, and it's just fine. I could dump a whole entire five gallon bucket, cool whoosh, no problem. I flushed the drains since we put the tile here. So I'm like, man, what is going on? Um, so we took, unscrewed one of the valves off the wall here, and we put a water hose valve, a spigot on there. I had a little cheap water hose that I bought, and we tried to flush it up through in here and um, just see if there was something blocking the pipe in the concrete. We weren't having no luck. Uh, the water really didn't want to go down. So then we continue trying to investigate why this water won't go down. Well, that same pipe goes across through a beam over here in the floor and our bathroom, our shower, our toilet, and our master bath is on that exact same drain pipe and they're working fine. So what's going on? Well, there is a roof vent, um, gas vent off of that main pipe that goes all the way up through a column, or that column right there. There's a T down in there, and there's a three inch pipe goes all the way up and go, goes up past this third floor room and then those columns for the pergola, it goes up through the middle of that. So that pipe is four stories up in the air. Uh, well, three stories. This would be story one for the pipe, story two, and then up for the columns up around top of the house, three. And I said, you know, go up there and uh, let's dump some water down the, the vent up there on the very top, high up in the air and see if it passes on through. That way we know if the blockage is somewhere between this column and this column, and that pipe is underneath the concrete going right across there behind the couch. My mom gets the ladder, he goes up there, high up in the air, looks in there, and the pipe is almost full of water all the way up to the top of the house before he even dumped anything in it. Full of rainwater. So we automatically know there's a blockage somewhere right there at that T. That's where it's happening. But what would be in there? Um, did someone drop something down the pipe up there on the very top? Well, that's really high in the air and that's even out of arm reach. Someone would literally have to be on the ladder on that top floor on that roof deck where the pergola is being built and be up there on the ladder to get up there to that vent. So it's highly, highly unlikely. So um, we needed something to get down a pretty long ways because you're gonna have to drop down basically 10, 20, almost, uh, whew, let's see, 10, 20, man, like maybe 28 feet or something like that. Yeah, that you're gonna have to get down, down that vent. Um, to see if you can feel or move anything. So we took some uh, PPR pipe we had left over here and we welded it together, Mock Mock did, and he made a really long piece. And then I told him to drive nails at angles at the end of that PPR pipe so we could get it down in there and twist and see if we can grab anything and pull anything up um, just in case there was something that we might be able to retrieve. So he does that and he pulls up debris like bird feathers and little, like really decaying like bird feathers and all. But just small little matter is all it got hooked on those couple of nails, not much. And the water really has a smell like something rotten in it. So, what, what could possibly have done this? Now, we're gonna work on this um, tomorrow. We're gonna be working on it tomorrow to clear that blockage. But luckily, right here's the CR, and that main drain pipe is going right across here, right across through there, across to our master um, bedroom bath on the other side. And that T's right here in this column but right here, I have a clean out that I have access to underneath. 
And those small drain floors, I have P-traps with clean outs on the bottom of them. So we were able to access this pipe across here and we run something in and sure enough, it stopped too right there at that T. And from the top, it stopped there and we know it's clear the other direction going on down to the septic tank because our uh, toilet and shower and everything's working just fine in there. So the blockage is here and up that three inch vent pipe all the way up. So I wanted to get one of those uh, roto rooters, you know, spins around, you put it down the pipe and you spin it, spring like made. Um, I hit several places and all they had was little old short ones that's like six foot long, three foot long and all that. You know, that's just like getting at a drain at a sink or something. But they did have a um, 12 meter long, I believe it was 12 meter long, snake, really good heavy duty snake with a big old arrow like pointed tip that's sharp that can get into something. So I bought a cap to put on top of that three inch pipe and I bought some fittings to where I can connect a water hose and take all that pressure like we have at the tank, 30 something pounds of pressure and push onto that three inch pipe and then we're gonna take that snake and push it across. And we're just gonna try our luck and we're gonna open up the clean out on the uh, other side of our CR. And if we manage to push something through, we can retrieve it there without it going all the way to the septic tank. So that's uh, our plan. That's what we're gonna be doing on Monday. Now, I have a theory, I think a rat it's one of those big rats. We ain't talking about a little field mouse. We ain't talking about a little field rat. I'm talking about those big rats that's here in the Philippines. I think one of those rats went down in there. I absolutely do. And to say, why would it go down that hole? You know, man, those suckers climb everywhere, especially at nighttime. Um, they're roaming around. My theory is, is that I bet a bird was building a nest in the top of my vent stack. And then I bet a rat got on top of that nest doing what rats do, robbing stuff, messing around. And that nest, I bet, slipped down that pipe with that rat. And the rat in the pipe, uh, the rat slipped down in that pipe. No way and come back out. His claws can't even get a hold of the pipe. And if he's one of those big ones, he probably fit down in there and couldn't even turn around. And he may have swelled up in there. <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. That it's the only possible thing that could have happened. And that's why we're only pulling a little bird feather stuff up, but we smell this really rank, like something rottening down in that pot. Whatever it is, it has sealed it up so tight that water won't even pass by. And so that three inch pipe is full of water all the way up. Now we had tremendous rains. Remember we had that big storm come through here and it rained and rained and rained and rained. So that's when that pipe got the opportunity to backfill up like it is. Now I'll tell you another reason why I feel so convicted on this. You see these coconut trees? Rats go up and climb all in the tops of those coconut trees. Great big old rats now, man. I'm talking about as big as a cat. And sometimes early in the mornings, I will see them going out from the coconuts there, going across the limb to this one, moving on to the next one. And then that Talisa tree like there and all of them around make it like a nut. And those Talisa nuts will be up in those coconut trees and all over there inside my ponds. And that's got to be those rats getting those nuts and taking them and carrying them those places and all. And if I had to bet, I bet you that one of those rats at nighttime was up there running around and fell down that pipe. Now I know I'm gonna get tons of advisors. You're gonna tell me all the I should've. So I've been living in the US for years to where you know our uh, vent stacks for our plumbing for our surge comes out on the roof and they're open. They're open all the way down. There's no kind of screen or nothing on them. I've never seen a problem with that ever back home in the US. Just never have. Um, 
have been a problem. Now, if it's one like for a vent hood, uh, central air with a gas burner, a uh, hot water heater, they, they have a cover over them. Of course, rain go down and go in the house, go in the hot water heater, go in the furnace, go in the stove, you know, whatever. Um, but then you don't want a bird nest building something where a flame can come up. But on your sewer gas vents, I've never, and where I live in the U.S. now, I've never seen them covered. And I didn't cover them here, but I will be now. So I'm going to take uh, and leave a cap on top of it, and I'm going to drill it full of holes so we can breathe through those holes, but nothing can go in there. Nothing of, nothing of any size besides a tiny insect or something. I could put screen. It's probably not going to last here in the sun. Um, you know, the sun's really hard. UV rays are really hard on everything. Uh, anything wire, the salt's really hard on it. So, the best thing I can do is just perforate that top. And even the extra pipe sticking up around the edges of it, I can just drill holes in a cap, drill holes, and around the side of the pipe, drill holes, and that'll let gases go out just fine. It'll let the air suck. When you flush the toilet, you really need those vents so your toilet flushes properly. So it'll let all that function and it will deter this from happening in the future. So I just want to tell the truth and I hope that this will help you um, avoid this happening on your bill. I could have easily not shared this because there's just so many people that want to be so critical and wait for you to have a bad moment so they can pounce on you, you know. But... <clears throat> whatever it is I'm just telling the truth and uh, maybe this will help you avoid having that same thing to happen especially if you're building in a tropical country or anything like that uh, even though I guess squirrels or it could happen with anything so uh, be warned maybe take my advice cover those up um, I'm sure there's a lot of product around the world in some country somewhere y'all gonna tell me about but I'm not in that some country somewhere in the world. I'm in the Philippines on a tropical island and we just have some basic items. It's improving, it's improving, but we just still, we have some basic items. But I think the idea that I have there is probably gonna work just perfect and it's gonna be durable. So uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if you ever had anything like that to happen to you. And I'll show the process of trying to get it cleared out. I'll tell you the truth of what happens as we work on clearing it out and wish us luck on that. And meanwhile, everybody take care. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. And we will see you all on the next one.